Good morning, it's Jen with Whole Life Potential. I'm just gonna make some almond milk this morning, so I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, first of all, it's a very easy recipe. I make it at least once a week. Um, first you wanna have, make sure you have a uh, milk bag. This is the one I use, this is the hemp um, milk bag to strain your uh, blended nuts so you get the milk out. It's called a milk bag. I got it on Amazon. This is what it looks like. You want to stick that into a bowl so when you pour your stuff in there to drain it, you can squeeze it out. Okay, so you got that ready. And I used to do a double recipe, but I do have to do one recipe at a time because it doesn't fit in the blender. So this is a single recipe. So you take, you have to soak your nuts um, at least an hour. If you have a high speed bender, you know, if you don't, then you might want to do it more like four, four hours. Just soak them in water, distilled water. I use distilled water. You take one cup of soaked nuts. These have been soaked. And then three and a half to four cups of distilled water. And that's all that goes in the blender. I'm going to blend these on high for maybe a minute, maybe not quite a minute. So I'm going to be quiet while this does this because it's loud. I use this milk a lot in smoothies. Um, a lot of recipes that call for milk, butter, cream, yogurt, I use the almond milk in. And I put some flavorings in it that make it taste really good just to drink straight. Um, you can have it on, I'm gonna squirt your milk all over. Have it on your cereal, oatmeal, And then you can also use what's left in the bag after you squeeze the milk out to make almond flour, which I'll tell you how to do. Because almond, a bag of almond flour costs like $8. It's not cheap. So it's so nice to be able to use your alm, all your almonds to the fullest. Squeezed out in there. And just use the raw, I'm just gonna show you the raw, just raw almonds unsalted. And then I pour it into a glass jar. And if you make two batches, it fills this jar up. And then what I do to season it is I put in a tablespoon of pure maple syrup. half a teaspoon of vanilla and 
couple shakes of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And then a couple shakes of sea salt. Stir that all up. That's good. Super tasty almond milk. What I do with the rest is this is what's left. I empty it into a bowl. You see, it's just, it almost looks like flour. It's just real wet. So, what you want to do is you want to spread it in a a baking dish and bake it in your oven at 200 for a couple hours until it dries just like check it every half hour or so and mix it around and then when it feels dry then you can just store it in a, a airtight container and it'll last for a while for you so I think that's about it this will last in your fridge for about four days but I use it so quickly I never, never have to throw it out I think that's about it. So tight lid on that. That's good. Well, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'll be posting some dinner videos soon. I just haven't gotten around to doing that one yet. So take care and have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.